Alhamdulillah. I think everyone is definitely experiencing the beauty of the Ramadan spirit. And there is no beautiful, more beautiful moment than this moment when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises that the gates of Jannah are opened and the gates of Jahannam are closed and the shayateen are constricted, subhanAllah. So we ask Allah to make this a blessed Ramadan for us all. Allahumma ameen ya rabbil alameen. When the month of Ramadan would come, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he would talk to the companions and he tells them in a number of narrations, he says, قَدْ أَظَلَّكُمْ شَهْرٌ عَظِيمٌ كَرِيمٌ مُبَارَكٌ It has come upon you a month like a beautiful cloud that is, that is kareem, a month that is generous and beautiful, a month that is azim, a month that is magnificent and overwhelmingly grandiose, this month of Ramadan. And this month of Ramadan, as the Prophet ﷺ describes it, is a month that is mubarak, a blessed month. And so may Allah allow us to take advantage of this beautiful month. Because the Prophet ﷺ, when the month of Ramadan came, he was ecstatic. He would become so happy. And he would sit with the companions and talk to them about the beauty of this month. And from the things that he would do in the beginning of the month, when he would initially see the moon, he would make a very particular dua. And I know our theme this month is living the Qur'anic dua, which will start tomorrow. But tonight we're going to do one prophetic dua, the one that he would make when the month of Ramadan began. And so I want everyone to pay attention closely to memorize this dua so you make it every single time the month of Ramadan begins. He says, Allahu Akbar, God is great, Allahu Akbar. And then he would say, and he would look at the moon. He would say, Allahumma ahillahu alayna bil amni wal iman. Oh Allah, allow this new moon that has come upon us to come upon us in a state of security. Amn and iman and deep rooted belief. That when the month of Ramadan comes upon us, we feel the security of being in the refuge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we feel a deep-rooted belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Allahu Akbar, and then he would say, Allahumma ahillahu alayna bil amni wal iman wa salamati wal islam. And, O oh Allah, allow this new month, this new moon that has come upon us, this blessed month of Ramadan, to come upon us when we're at a state of peace. Salama. You know, the day when you enter into Jannah and you say, Salam. May Allah make this a precursor for that moment when we enter into Darul Salam, which is Jannah. May Allah make this month of Ramadan for all of us here in the masjid today a precursor of Salam, of peace. May Allah make our hearts at peace as we enter into Ramadan. There is no more beautiful month to attain peace and tranquility than in this month of Ramadan. Allahumma ahillahu alayna bil amni wal iman wa salamati wal islam. Submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The month of Ramadan is a month of belief, a month of peace and security, and a month of submission. We begin this month, Ya Allah, in complete submission to your command. You commanded us to pray. And so we submit ourselves to your command. And then he would say, وَوَفِّقْنَا لِمَا تُحِبُّهُ وَتَرْضَاهُ And O oh Allah, give us success and make easy for us that which you love, مَا تُحِبُّهُ أَنْتْ What you love, وَتَرْضَاهُ And what is pleasing to you. And then he would point at the moon and he would say, Rabbi wa رَبُّكَ Allah, My Lord, and your Lord is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To, to indicate what? That we don't believe in the moon. The moon and us and all of the beautiful celestial realm that we see around us is in complete submission to the one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so every Ramadan, this is how you begin your Ramadan. Allahu Akbar, Allahumma ahillahu alayna. Repeat after me, Allahu Akbar. Allahumma ahillahu alayna. بِالْأَمْنِ وَالْإِيمَانِ وَالسَّلَامَةِ وَالْإِسْلَامِ وَوَفِّقْنَا 
لما تحبه وترضاه ربي وربك الله